Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting video. Have you ever heard the term MVP? No, I'm not talking about the most valuable player in sports. In the Salesforce ecosystem, MVP stands for most valuable professionals. So if you are curious to know what it takes to become a Salesforce MVP, you are in the right place. Today we'll be discussing everything about Salesforce MVPs, including what they are, what you need to become an MVP, the benefits you receive and much more. So stick around with us because we are about to unreveal all the details. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell too. Stay updated with all the latest Salesforce insights. Now let's jump right in. Salesforce has an amazing community of people who are constantly learning, contributing and collaborating in all sorts of ways. But there are some folks who take it to the next level by creating awesome content like blogs or videos or being super active and helpful in the community. These are the folks who show true leadership by inspiring and guiding others with their knowledge and expertise. So as a token of appreciation of their outstanding contribution, Salesforce celebrate them each year with the prestigious MVP title that is Most Valuable Professional. Now don't confuse with this a Lifetime Achievement Award. MVP recognition is renewed annually, allowing fresh faces to join the ranks and ensuring the program remains dynamic. I know you must be thinking that can anyone become a Salesforce MVP just by being active in the community or by creating content around Salesforce? So let me make it clear it's not that easy to be considered for the MVP club. You need to have three key characteristics. Expertise, leadership and generosity. MVPs are the product expertise, community leaders and generous soul who give back to tirelessly to the community. And it's not just about knowledge, it's about lifting others up and creating a supportive ecosystem for the newcomers and the community members. Let's understand these three characteristics one by one. Number one is expertise. You can think of Salesforce MVPs as walking encyclopedias of Salesforce. They write informative blogs, posts, share valuable tips on podcasts and even teach others at different conferences. They are like open libraries who are always sharing their knowledge and welcoming everyone to learn. Second characteristics that they possess is leadership. They are like the friendly captains of the Salesforce ship who are always ready to stir in the right direction. If you are facing difficulty with a tricky feature, got questions about Salesforce, they are your go-to buddies who are always ready to solve your problems with a smile. They also make sure everyone in the community are included. And if someone is new to community and feeling lost, they welcome them with open arms just like friendly mentors making sure they feel comfortable and included. Third characteristic is generosity. MVPs are not just brainiacs and leaders. They are also some of the most generous folks you will find in the Salesforce community. You can think of them like superheroes, but instead of flying around, they donate their precious and energy to help others. They mentor newbies, answer tricky questions, and even organize cool events and workshops, all for free because they genuinely love seeing others succeed in the Salesforce world. So if you are all about helping others, sharing your knowledge and leading the way, you might be on the Salesforce MVP track. But it's just a fancy title or there are any benefits you get as an MVP. Well, there are a lot of benefits that Salesforce provides their MVP, like you get an access to the private Slack channels, event invites, speaking opportunities, certification vouchers, and of course, some amazing swag. And it doesn't end there. You can also get to chat directly with the bosses and tell them what you think about their new stuff before anyone else can know it. So it's like having a secret superpower to see all the cool things they are working on first. And guess what? If you are consistently become an MVP for five years straight, you earn a special spot in the Hall of Fame. This is like the MVP Hall of Champions, where Salesforce celebrate folks who have contributed immensely to help others succeed in the Salesforce world. They are like mentors and guides for future MVPs and the entire community. So if the benefits have intrigued you, and if you are wondering how to become one yourself, well, guess what? Anyone can nominate you or even yourself. All it takes is one nomination to get your foot in the door. The official Salesforce website has all the details on when nominations are open, so keep an eye out. Now becoming an MVP isn't like a winning lottery. It involves a few steps. First, the Salesforce community gets vote for their favorite nominees. Then Salesforce experts and current MVPs take a closer look at everyone. Finally, the whole MVP crew has a say before the final decision. So when you nominate someone or yourself, tell the story. Show how they rock those key qualities, being a Salesforce ninja, a community, a captain, and a super generous friend. Did they lead a group, help others learn, or maybe share amazing tips? Spill the beans on the cool stuff they do. 
So that's all about sales for Sam Happy. If you are someone who had no idea about it, I hope this video gave you all the knowledge you need. And if you have been thinking about nominating someone or even yourself, go ahead and start that journey. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to give a thumbs up and a share with your fellow trailblazers. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.